start with President Biden's surprise visit to Ukraine, many calling the trip historic. Joining us now is Laura Kelly, a foreign policy reporter with our media partners at The Hill. Laura, thank you so much for joining us. So people here and really just all over the world were so surprised and shocked by President Biden's trip to Ukraine. Talk to us about how important this was specifically just for the president. Listen, I was shocked. Uh, the only way into Ukraine is by train. And the president has talked a lot about how he loves Amtrak, he loves trains, sure. But that is not an easy journey. And given the security risks, I'm sure it was um, it, it was tough. Um, so it was. It seemed that to go through all of those preparations, all of those plannings, all of those security risks, the White House said that the U.S. gave the Russians a heads up that the president was going into Ukraine shortly before he was going in there as a deconfliction mechanism so that they didn't uh, pose any danger to the president. But given that Ukrainian President Zelensky was in Washington and that really underscored and reinforced the bond between the U.S. and Ukraine, now for President Biden, who had made something like six trips to Ukraine while he was president, while he was vice president under President Obama, to go there during a war where the U.S. is providing support, military support, financial support, but we have absolutely no American troops there. Um, that was a, a historic and really unprecedented uh, move for the president. And Laura, can you talk more about the preps for this trip? I understand it was weeks in the making and such top secret, high level ways of trying to plan this all out. I understand there was also an email that was sent out to the reporter that went on. It said like um, top or trip to a golf trip, a golf trip, and they had to keep it a complete secret. Yes, so uh, apparently the White House invited two reporters to go on the trip, and uh, as part of the pool report, the pool press, the traveling press that goes with the president to make sure that there's always um, a media record of, of what the president um, is, is doing and things. And uh, so the, the pool reporters sent out emails afterwards, kind of uh, a diary entry of, of the TikTok of their experience and they said they were brought into the white house uh, i think it was friday told about this top secret trip uh, explained that they were going to get this email that was you know uh, d disguising the trip that they were going to some golf tournament uh, and then they were brought to the plane on sunday i think it was about two o'clock or four o'clock in the morning something like that they flew to poland um, they traveled to a train station that is um, in Poland, very close to the border with Ukraine. It takes maybe about 20, 30 minutes or so to um, to cross the border from from the train. But then it's about a 10 hour ride in to get to Kiev. Uh, and they had their phones taken away. So I imagine that they were just writing on pen and paper of their experiences. Um, they they wrote in the in the email to to the reporters um, who were reading this, that uh, they didn't see much because they were traveling in darkness. Also, Ukraine is under uh, intentional blackout, rolling blackouts um, at night, usually to protect against uh, Russian attacks. Um, and uh, and then they arrived about 8 a.m. in the morning. You know, the in videos and photographs, the President Biden looks um, energized. Uh, he probably had a lot of adrenaline going, and he spent about four hours in Kiev walking around with President Zelensky. And then he got back on the train for another 10-hour trip back to Poland. Uh, so, I mean, I, I took the trip um, from Kiev to the train station in Poland that the president um, the president traveled through. I did that trip in August, and I tell you, I I was not fit for a meeting with world leaders when uh, when I got off the train. <laughs> and Laura, that's so fascinating, so cool that you were also able to experience that and relay it to us. Thank you so much for joining us on Capital Review for your time. Really appreciate it.